watching Lafayette's News Channel 18. Weather from where you live. It is finally Friday, and there's uh, no better way to start the weekend than having great weather. Check out Precision 18 Doppler. Of course, we don't want to disturb it. It is very quiet right now, and that's a good sign. We've got lots of sunshine, clear skies. I love giving forecasts like this, especially going into the weekend. Tonight will be a great night to grill out, and tomorrow a great day to play golf. We've got warm weather and dry weather. Now, this morning, we're starting off a bit chilly, much like yesterday began. So a cold start, but we're going to have a very nice finish as temperatures will top out in the upper 70s. And we are going to stay dry until Saturday overnight, Sunday morning. So we've got a little bit of a stretch here, some good weather. But we do see storms on the way. With the next system that's approaching, again, Saturday night or Sunday morning, uh, that's going to bring a long stretch of rain through Tuesday. And we're going to see very muggy conditions as humidity will be on the rise and temperatures Sunday and Monday into the mid-80s. Now this morning, again, a chilly start, 47 degrees, but the sun is up, and that's good because we're going to start getting that initial sunrise and get that heat, and that'll start uh, raising our temperatures back into the 70s for us. Now we also are going to see clear skies moving in from the west, so plenty of sun, and the winds are going to be shifting out of the south. So that's even going to bring uh, that warmer air, and that's why by the end of the weekend we get into the 80s. If you look at this stretch across the central plains, we see uh, clear skies. We do see a system uh, moving that was off to the, this was a Pacific low, moving uh, off into the western portion right now. But we're going to stay out of this way until the end of the weekend. So we've got all this dry weather and really clear weather uh, to, uh, for the next couple of days anyway, today and tomorrow. If you watch Precision Cast here, this is a forecast anyone could deliver this one. Watch this. Not any changes. In fact, very calm and quiet, clear skies, and that's exactly how your Saturday is until Saturday night, and then big changes roll in. The next system will be approaching first a warm front, so that's going to lift in those warmer temperatures and cause muggy conditions. Again, humidity will be on the rise, but that's enough to spur some storms, so we could see severe weather potential. What that means is Sunday Sunday afternoon and evening into Monday afternoon, we could even see the threats of hail, high wind, and lightning, much like we saw earlier this week. In fact, the models are showing this system really much uh, in the same manner as this last system came through. Training storms for a couple of days as we go into Monday, and then finally as the cold front at the end of this system pulls through, we'll see a drop in temperature as we go into Tuesday, taking us back down to the mid-70s and also lingering showers into Tuesday afternoon. Now we will see heat Sunday and Monday, so again, and those 80s are going to be around muggy conditions, and that is going to stir those uh, st those spur those storms. A lot of S's there. For now, though, we don't have to worry about it. Partly cloudy skies, plenty of sunshine. Here's the uh, rise today, up to 77 degrees. Uh, again, that is slightly below the average, but still warmer temperatures. Now, as we head into the overnight, a little bit warmer than last night, but still chilly, cooler than the average anyway, 51 degrees. As we head into tomorrow, 77 for the high. Again, the winds will shift out of the south, mostly sunny skies and clear skies. Uh, for your seven-day outlook, we are going to see, of course, those 80 degree temperatures, and that's enough to, again, spur the chances for storms. We'll keep you updated on any severe weather, but uh, the rain looks to be out of here by the end of Tuesday, so uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday looking to be mostly dry at this point.